welcome to John and Lisa's Jazz Joint. We're going to take a look at a phenomenon that was really part of the big band era. There would be about 30 or 40 guys in the band, and there would be one lady that would travel with them. These dollies, they were all pretty good looking, as you can imagine. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at one of my favorites. Her name is Helen O'Connell. And there's a picture of her you can see. Uh, Helen was born in 1920. Um, at the age of 15, she and her sister were uh, actually uh, doing clubs and radio programs and so forth. But when she was 20, she joined the Jimmy Dorsey Band. And for the next few years, she was recording songs like um, Green Eyes. Oh, oh, by the way, Green Eyes was one of the uh, milestones in my little my little career. I was setting up to do some music at the, um, I think it was in Minot, or no, Grand Forks. Um, and uh, I was just warming up and a lady about 30, 40 feet away, she jumped out of her chair and she said, that's green eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pleased I was doing something she recognized. Anyway, um, green eyes is one piece that she does. Uh, in duet with Bob Everly, and, and it's on YouTube if you uh, care to follow it up. Uh, we won't be doing it today. We'll probably do it in the next session. Today we're going to be looking at, uh, if time allows, two songs. If time doesn't allow, we'll do one song. And the song that we're going to be looking at is Amapola. This is our first song, Amapola. And this is a, a, all about a pretty flower. squeeze in here is uh, similar it's uh, a tribute but not so much to a lovely lady well yes a lovely lady but one that uh, uh, is well uh, well what shall I say she's she's a man teaser <laughs> I'll put it that way that's the best way to put it I guess hope I haven't done her an injustice so. mm -hmm. 
singer you had to wait uh, on the, the sidelines I guess until the middle of the song and then very often you were paired with another male singer and this uh, Helen O'Connell the next time we meet I'll give you a, a the rundown on the other part of her career because she moved on to become a celebrity in quite a different way and the only clue I'll give you is the Miss Universe comp uh, competition all right, that's it for now. We wrap it up from Lisa and John. Have a good day. Bye for now. <laughs>